The Datasheet Formatting dialog box gives you complete control over the datasheet's look. To open this dialog box, click on the Datasheet Formatting Launcher in the bottom right corner of the Text Formatting group of the ribbon. The sample in the middle of the dialog box shows you a preview of changes. Select flat, raised or sunken in the cell effect area to specify how cells in the data sheet should look. Try selecting flat. Grid lines appear in the data sheet by default. To turn off horizontal grid lines, uncheck the horizontal checkbox in the grid line shown area. To turn off vertical grid lines, uncheck the vertical checkbox in the grid line shown area. To apply a background color to the data sheet, click on background color, select a color from the palette. Alternate background color changes color of the even numbered rows. Click on the alternate background color. From the drop down list, select the color from the palette. To change the color of the data sheet's grid lines, click on the grid line color. From the drop down list, select a color from the palette. Use the border and line styles drop down lists to change the look of the grid lines. Select the item to change from the leftmost drop down list in the border and line styles area. Select column heading underline. Then select a line style to change the style of grid lines. To reverse the column order, putting the first column last and last column first and change scroll direction. Select the right to left option button in the direction area of the data sheet formatting dialog box. If you are satisfied with the data sheet's new appearance, click on OK. Notice that columns order and scroll direction has changed. Open data sheet formatting dialog box. Grid lines shown and border and line styles are disabled when you choose raised or sunken. Horizontal and vertical grid lines are visible and solid. They cannot be changed. To save the changes to the data sheets layout, save the table. Once saved, you cannot undo the changes. You cannot undo layout changes using the undo buttons even if you did not save the table. To undo these changes, close the table without saving. Access prompts you to save the changes to the layout. Click on S to save the changes. Click on No to undo the changes. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.